Wahguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahguru Ji Ki Fateh. So we're going to do just to start off, we're just to focus our minds. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of Wahguru Shaman. So if, uh, I know you've got your pancakes and all that in here. So um, you need to try and focus your minds after all that sugar. So um, what I usually say to kids, not that you're kids, but uh, you should get, um, uh, keep your hands together, try to stay as still as possible. And uh, just listen, because we all want to say Vaigun together, okay? And just try to listen to it, okay? And uh, um, part way through I'll say, okay, now I want you to do it uh, without saying anything, without making any noise, so you're going to do it inside, okay? So you can, all you're going to do is like kind of focus your... By then, your, your mind, your head should be kind of almost vibrating with that, um, with that similar, okay? So I just want you to just feel that, and I want you to say it in your head, okay? Everyone eyes closed. Wahguru, 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 Focus inside. Keep saying why you're doing your heads. Slow your breathing right down. Long deep breaths. Try to ignore all other sounds. Feel the vibrations of the Kutmantar. Okay, so um, we're running late already. Um, amazing fact, <coughs> did you do know that students who sit talking randomly before a lecture are 90% likely to gain nothing from the class. Those who meditate uh, before a lecture will absorb 50% more information than those don't. Okay, so that is just a made up fact. I just made it up. Because otherwise what happens is you like sit in and talking and you're all like doing your own villa and then I think that you know what? Someone might look at that and they get a bit worried. So I just made it up. Okay? So it has no truth whatsoever. So um I've decided to call this uh, talk the journey of love. This is a kind of a, a life changing story. It's a life changing journey that I went on and I wanted to share it with you. I've kind of spent a bit of time, I don't know much about PowerPoints and all that kind of thing, but I just, I impressed Manavid with my PowerPoint skills, so I'm quite happy about that. Okay, talking about Manavid, uh, <coughs> so, can you just move that a little bit? So this presentation will contain references to holy men. Go to Babbit, 
The stories depict personal experiences and do not reflect all holy men. The intention is not to undermine the term Baba, and the reason why I've do this, have, I had to put this on here because I've had uh, problems before with some of my stories that um, my people have taken the wrong way of taking offence to it. Okay, so <coughs> if I'm talking about sort of Baba or something like that, then I'm not talking about all Baba, um, you know. So uh, I just want to make that clear. And the second thing is. <clears throat> so this story has been prepared with some references to a Bani. So one of the Bani that we read. Uh, try and guess which one it is. You don't have to shout it out at the beginning, so you can just tell me at the end, that's fine. And there will be a number of lines or shabbats uh, referred to in this talk. Okay, a number of lines. But I'm not going to say them just like that. Okay, I'm going to give you a kind of a translation or an interpretation of them. Okay, someone's already disappointed. Send it back to England. Hopefully by the end of it, you're not all crying. <laughs> so uh, these have been used to tell the story. So see how many you can spot, okay? See how many you can spot. Now, I just want to show you this diagram. This is one of the other reasons why I want you to sit towards the front. So what does this show? That? What does that show? Anyone want to put their hand up? Tell me what, that, what does that show? <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of uh, your input because uh, <coughs> it's uh, without it, honestly, this is going to be finished in about 10 minutes. Unless you guys uh, contribute. So, what does that say? Something to think about learning pyramid, blah, blah, blah. What's all that? What's all that about? Anyone? No? Yeah? Hey. Yes. Yes. Depending on each level of the pyramid, yeah. if the more you do of whatever is on each different level, yeah. that much of that much you'll remember of and recall of what you've learned. Perfect. Okay. So as a <coughs> I suppose as a bunt, where we really are, unfortunately, there's a lot of us we're just kind of doing the in our God is over doing lecturing and the reading kind of thing. You know, where we need to be is over here, where we're absorbing a lot more of the information. So through discussions through uh, practicing doing things or teaching others. And this is why it's going to be very important that you all sh get involved. So I'm going to need your involvement. So I want to kind of, I'm going to ask you some questions throughout this presentation. <coughs> and I'm going to need your um, contributions, okay? Uh, everyone say bye. 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 Just to keep you attentive, okay? So if anyone's been messing around, picking the noses and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to say bye, Guru. Bye, Guru. Bye, Guru. Okay, so, so let me tell you how this story really began. It began when I was a young boy. So I used to have like some holy men, some Babi come to my house as a child. But I used to get very confused about how they acted. So they didn't seem that holy to me. Even though they had so many followers and kind of arrived in their big expensive cars. I don't know why that's got a number plate duck in there. So, so it had a... a, a they come in the big expensive cars, then what had happened first of all, so they were Baba's waiting in the car, all the jinli come out, or a couple of jinli come out, and they say, they go to my parents and say, some more silver here, spring roll, I don't know why Baba likes spring rolls. And the third thing was that having got chitti and on the on the, on the sofas. Okay? So they have come in first, yeah, and do that, make those demands, make sure everything, stake out the joint. Okay? And then my mum used to say to me that you better make sure when the Baba comes in, you better make sure you mutadik him. See, even the border next door needs to come in and do the mutadik. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> so he said, make sure you do mutadik when, when the Baba comes in, uh, otherwise not going to be happy. Once the Baba came in, I didn't do mutadik, so my mum didn't talk to me for a week. So, and, the, and then what I used to see is the Baba comes in and then he just takes my parents' money, so the mum goes upstairs, gets all this wad of notes and everything, and then he's on his mobile phone most of the time. He's on his phone and I thought, what is this? I was quite surprised and very confused. So it left me with a lot of questions and a lot of ne negative uh, thoughts in my head. <coughs> so one of the questions I had in my head is, why do we have to bow to him? Okay? Why do we have to do Matate to him? Second one was, what makes him so special? Okay, what, was this, what was so special about him that we had to bow to him? Uh, why, why are we treated like we're nothing in comparison to them? Okay. Um, I know I was just a kind of a, a very, um, let's say, I used to ask a lot of questions. Um, and I said, is this what po holy people are like looking down on the rest of us? And they're kind of sitting on their sort of thrones or whatever. And they're kind of, you know, 
Uh, and they never used to really kind of talk to us about, you know, give us any sick here. I just used to sit in there, kind of have a couple of spring rolls, and that's it. Um, so, uh, what I took to myself, what, do I, what have I gained from this experience? This person came around, took my parents' money, and they, you know, he might have been a burglar. He could have been, could have been a robber. I mean, same thing. Okay, so I thought to myself, I'm better off, I was more than that then, I thought to myself, I'm better off as I am, because this is, doesn't seem uh, like the kind of a person that I want to be, uh, or, or something that I want to follow. And then, when I did my research, so I decided to do my own research, and I found that Gurnayad Devji was nothing like this. Gurnayad Devji had no desire to copy the rich and the famous. They were prepared to sit with the lowest of the low. But Nayan Dev did believe that where the lowest and the needy were cared for, that's where there were very, very great, great blessings. I remember in the first Udasi that I read about, Guru Nayan Dev Ji said to Mardana that I want to go to a place where the person does give kamai. I want to go there and I want to do their sangha. Okay? Does anyone know where he went? Can I put the hand up? Uh, sorry, Sir Mardana's not allowed. Anyone else? Ah, Hajjim. You went to buy Lalo's house, and uh, what happened at that? Just very, very briefly, because we haven't got that much time. You can just go like that if you want. <laughs> okay, everyone knows. Right. So, <clears throat> so I, re I researched how Guru Sahib used to live, and uh, I found that they live a very, very simple life. Sometimes they, on their travels, they would sleep on, the, on a stony bed, on the stony ground, uh, when a bed was not available. They'd sleep in the fields and then eat the most bitterest of fruits of the, of the trees, just so they could just uh, carry on, keep going with their mission. Guru Sahib says, some re references say that Guru Sahib travelled 30,000 miles in their child of Asya. What that equates to, nautical miles, if you were to walk around the world, it's 23,500. So Guru Nandiji effectively walked all the way around the world, and more. Um, so I have a question on this, and it's quite an important question for us to understand based on what I mentioned before. So wherever Guru Sahib went, they walked. Why? Why did Guru Sahib walk where they went? Obviously, obviously, if they were going over land, uh, or going over the sea, sorry, they would uh, use a boat. But when they um, generally were on land, they walked. Yeah, honey. There were no cars there. No cars. There were other means of transport. Yep. Okay, good. Yes, they want to. Be, I can still be, uh, travel other means if I'm going to different villages. Anything else? Yep. Sign of humility. Okay, out of humility. Can you explain that, please? Um, if you have like goods and some rats, right? So they can have horses and whatnot, or even a carriage. But if they're walking into a village by foot, um, yeah. it shows that they're coming from a place of humility. Okay, and it humility. It more accessible to people. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Yes, we get on the right. Yeah. Like to show respect to other people. Okay, okay. See, thank you for that. So what will happen is, <coughs> um, uh, I'll ask you the next question. Yeah. So uh, what would happen is, um, so if you've got a big chariot arriving with all these horses, everyone comes out, oh, who's this guy, who's this famous person, who's this um, high person, want to meet him, they, got, they look like they've got lots of money. Guru Sahib never wanted to come across like that. Guru Sahib wanted people to see him and then see that, how much happiness he has in the basic, simple life that he lived. And, and uh, just like I mentioned that Guru Sahib, had, he loved that simplicity. Guru Sahib loved that simplicity. It allowed him to, to uh, communicate with so many people. Uh, and, and no one would judge him to say that he's kind of, oh, he thinks he's better than all of us. So, <laughs> this was the realization that my experience of holy men was not the same as Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Okay? So Guru Nanak Dev Ji was nothing like uh, the holy men that I had experienced as, as a child. Okay, everyone say, Vai Guru. Vai Guru. Vai Guru. Vai Guru. Vai Guru. Vai Guru. So on this journey, I decided to use Guru Nanak Dev Ji as my guide to help me find the truth. So the first thing I noticed that there were many, many people traveling on this journey. Many, many people traveling on this path. And they were traveling at different speeds on this path. Okay, this path to, to Vai Guru. 
Uh, they were traveling very, very, uh, some of them traveling very, very fast, some of them traveling very, very slow. And, but there was one group of people, they rushed past me so quickly. Yeah. And I thought to myself, that who, who are these people? If this is the path to God, then these people that are traveling so fast, surely that I want to try to be like them. So I asked my guru, I asked my guru who they were, and they said, I will tell you about them later. Uh, first you need to see more. So what happened on that path that we went on, we um, kind of took a side path as I was walking my guru's out on this path. And we saw some holy men. I asked Guru who they were. Guru Sahib said they were Sravaks. I said, Who's, what's a Sravak? And they said that these are followers of the Buddhist and the Jain religion. They were living such simple lives, very, very, very disciplined. Uh, they were completely devoted to their lifestyle. I tried to talk to them at one point, uh, but they didn't want to talk to me. I thought maybe because I'm not good enough. I saw some yogis there, and they were practicing controlling their breathing and cleaning themselves inside. Some of them were like hundreds of years old. Some lived purely just on consuming air. And uh, I saw many, many religious saints there and God devoted people at that place. Uh, they had thousands and thousands of followers. And they were delivering these kind of wonderful, amazing lectures and, uh, and talks about God. And their followers were bound to them. I wanted to bow to them too. Uh, because the words they were speaking were so enticing. Everywhere, everywhere I went in that place, it was just kind of amazing. It was, I, was, I was left amazed. I was so impressed. But my Guru Sahib didn't seem impressed. Guru Sahib said, I met many of these holy men in the Himalaya Summa, Summa Mountains. And they talked, and I taught them about the correct path. But instead, they still followed their false practices. And Guru Sahib shook their head and said, the whole world is practicing false things. No one has recognized the, the God's secret. Okay, so on this, I have a question for you. So, Sumer Parbat Summa Mountain, Gurnan Devji went there. Who did he meet and what happened at that meeting? Anyone? Sameer Parbat, how do you want to say? Go, no. Go, set, set the goals for you. How do you set the goals? Okay, so, Koyed Devji, Dasana Gipi Optimasi. Set the goals for you to set the seat area for Sadhana Gardasi, Pranam Gardasi. So, Una Kore Alpha Gardasi, Tisi. Hadi. So, as Pastor just said, uh, but he met the saints there, and these are very, very highly spiritual uh, Hindu saints. Okay, and they had something called the Diyasindhya. They had these spiritual occult powers where they could do lots and lots of different things. Okay, and what happened at that meeting? Which one of the things I just wanted to pick up on was that they looked very negatively about Gurnayan Devji when Gurnayan Devji was talk, focusing, uh, 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 talking about this Dijima, talking about living in a household, earning an honest living, because these sins then left the world to go in the mountains. I don't think we can even uh, comprehend how high up they were in the Himalaya mountains, whether some of the Sumerian uh, is. It's way higher. So immediately when they saw Gurnayak Devji, they realized that he's something special to be able to get up high here to, to, to where we were, where we are. And uh, so uh, one of the key things here is that Guru Sai really, really um, uh, challenged their view on Augusti and, and living a completely, um, let's say, uh, a life away from household and these kind of things. Okay? So I just had you. Hey, Guru Sahib, you know, Kaki, 
ਗ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਪਰਫਾਰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਰ ਇਹਦੇ ਬੰਧਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੋਚੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਗ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਾਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਡਿਸਟਰੈਕਟ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਕੋਈ ਪਹਾੜਾਂ ਚ ਵੀ ਚਲਿਆ ਜਾਵੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਬੈਠਾ ਵੀ ਡਿਸਟਰੈਕਟ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਇਹ ਮੰਨ ਕੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਾਜ ਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਤੇ ਡਿਟੈਚ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਸਖੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਮਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਚਲਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਹਰ ਕਾਰਜ ਨੂੰ ਪਰਫਾਰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਪਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਬੰਧਨ ਤੋਂ ਮੁਕਤ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਪੀਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਯੂ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ Let's look at the sins and uh, what, what, how they were in their lives. They run off to the mountains to meditate, and they and they um, uh, they renounce the whole like earning a, or j- doing a job or having a family. So I wanted to ask you. It's just a, I know it might kind of provoke some controversy, but is a Sikh who neglects their family responsibilities? You can think about what the family responsibilities are. Are they the, potentially the modern day sin? Okay, so just talk to you. people next to you about this just for a minute and then uh, I'll see what you have to say ਹਾਂ 
So one thing that um, Bernard uh, you said is that Bernard and David didn't really rate uh, their occult powers, their spiritual powers very highly. He said that these are, these are not even, these are nothing compared to now. Okay? And these are also nothing compared to living in that list of demon and, and, and combining your sikhi or combining your dun at that time and, and doing your property within the family. So um, it's, I, I, I think I'll leave you with that thought because what I wanted to do is I want to bring that, I want to get that history and I want to bring it to the current and I want you to think, okay, so the things that Guru Nayan did at that time condemned are we possibly doing these things in a different way now? But if it's kind of masquerading in a different way or manifesting in a different way. Okay, so one thing I learned in that place, I learned that devotion is very important, but it can't be ritualistic. These sins, they were very, very, very devoted. You've given up all these things, very devoted. But it can't become ritualistic and it must be from the heart. So devotion was the first thing that I learned on my journey. So when we continued, continued on the journey, <coughs> it's my editing skills here. Don't have to give me a round of applause. Okay. I so as I walked, um, as I walked on, I saw this castle, and it was like a, 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 it was very, very daunting to look at. It was an impenetrable fortress. I look, when I looked at it, I thought to myself that how are enemies going to be able to attack here? It's impossible. In the walls, they were like ten feet thick. The walls were ten feet, thick, and it had huge moats around it, like alligators and crocodiles and other poisonous kind of uh, killers. And and in there. The soldiers that were in the in the castle, they were running out. They were running out, and I thought to myself, why are these soldiers running out? And I asked my guru, and the guru said that they're running out because they're running out. They're, um, uh, they're running out because they're running out. Because they're running out. They're running out because the warriors are coming. The warrior soldiers are coming. And I thought to myself, surely it's better that they stay in the castle if the if the warriors are coming, and. Uh, Guru Sahib then told me about these warriors. He said that they're huge. He said that they can take on whole armies by themselves. He said they can take down even the Mustang piece. They can take down uh, uh, even drunk elephants. They destroy enemy forces in very little time. They're huge and nothing can stand in their way. They've conquered whole countries themselves. I then saw these warriors. They were huge, like nothing I've ever seen before. They were like superhuman in their strength, and they could kill armies of hundreds of soldiers. I saw, I saw them destroy the fortress and kill the foolish soldiers that remained in there. My guru saw the fright in my eyes, and they said to me that these warriors are just beggars. He goes, without, they're just always constantly better begging for white guru's blessings. But blessings for strength, and all that does is just boost their egos. So these warriors, they were greatly, greatly feared. But I wanted to ask you, just looking at the modern day, um, it's just crashed over there. Computers crashed. So I want to ask you, I'll, I'll come back to this in a second. Who are the modern day warriors in Guru Sahib's eyes? Who are the warriors in Guru Sahib's eyes? And how are they different to those warriors? Okay, so who are the war warriors in Guru Sahib's eyes and how are they different to those warriors that I've just described? You can refer to Gurbani if you want to. Warriors in Guru Sahib's eyes, anyone? What does Gurbani say about it? Anyone want to try and get my new people answering if I can? <laughs> Okay, so one that has conquered the Panchor. One has conquered the Panchor. Okay. Anyone want to add anything else to that? Yes? So, like, Guru Sahib also says, like, without Kwari, which goes like, Pyaran, I saw it. 
he really cares about their bad health, like the gym and stuff. Okay, okay, good. Someone who keeps the dad and someone who stays away from the four with the very, very important. Okay, yes? Suda also has an ability to make someone who fights for someone else, and also for his own religion. Okay. Uh, let's be a bit correct with this uh, definition here. Someone who fights for someone else. Uh, are American soldiers fight for Donald Trump. <laughs> are they sort uh, in the blue's eyes? So, give it a task. Cast a but then, okay, so that's that, that's the internal fight. What about external? Because, you know, we have the Pantic Jeevan and we have the Niti Jeevan, our personal uh, Jeevan, and we have the Pantic Jeevan. Anyone? So what about that? It's like, the modern day would be like a saint soldier, yeah. where it's a mix of both. Yeah. And then, the only way I can kind of See how that would relate is when Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, "Take Singh Savala." Okay, okay, Singh Savala. Just like how Guru Nanak Dev Ji like the like the simple life. Like yeah. Okay. So, so when we see Guru Nanak Dev Ji, some people say that, "Oh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, so he was so passive. He was so kind of, you know, um, um, like kind of so um, mellow, and he didn't really get involved in any kind of the jungle or anything." Is that true or not? Firstly, about one one thing we, we're focusing here on the internal battle, okay, but we have a responsibility. There's a, there's an external battle to fight as well. What's that external battle that Guru Nanak Dev Ji taught us? Anjumas. Injustice. Injustice. Okay. Injustice. So wherever there's injustice, can you give some examples, maybe? Injustices anywhere? Okay. Yeah. 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 Today is a bit of an injustice, the sound system not working. <laughs> Anywhere where people are free to follow their religion or, you know, even in Canada, we have a situation in Quebec. Okay. Uh, have you heard about it? Or? No, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. In Quebec, where we have a speaker on Thursday, but you're really one of the time. Yeah. But where uh, they're not able to wear the thoughts in many different professions in Quebec. Oh, okay. In Canada. All right. Okay. It will be injustice. Okay, so that kind of injustice where there's not that freedom to practice uh, your faith and, uh, and uh, practice what you believe in. Okay, so these are injustices that is a good six to uh, responsibility of a good six to, to uh, try to uh, try to fight for what's right with that. Okay, how was it? Why guru? 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 So at that place where I saw that warrior guy, I thought to myself that this, in this place uh, I learned about blessings. So it's very important to have blessings, but there's the right type of blessings, and you're, and you're asking for the right blessings with Guru Sahib. Okay? So the, these people were just, um, uh, Guru Sahib talks about these people just uh, asking for blessings of strength so they could boost their egos and fight. Okay, <clears throat> so I went back onto the main path. And I saw these fast travellers again. And when I saw them, there was some kind of um, music coming from them. I saw inside, there was something, it was something coming from inside them, some music. And I asked my Guru Sahib, well, who are these people? Who are these people? And they said to me, uh, I'll tell you later. Okay. So then we arrived at the next village. And in that next village, uh, I was shown different religious practices. Uh, different disciplines. I was I was taken to a mosque, a mandir, a, a church, a synagogue, uh, many many different places of worship. I saw many many different people. Some were praying to the to the west. Some were praying to gravestones. Some were worshiping stone idols. Some had stone stone idols around their neck. I saw one guy who was praying to this grave, uh, gravestone, and I asked him what he was doing. He said there used to be a holy Muslim man living here, uh, so, uh, and uh, he was buried here, and I'm praying for his blessings. When I, when my guru heard all their religious scriptures and everything, they said that 
kept shaking their head and said that the whole world is practicing false things. No one's recognized why it was secret. Okay, so from there, I arrived at Hadwar, and my guru said to me that they'd been there before. I did not have to take out a Gurdwara and Anakwara side. Does anyone know what happened at this place? Where Guru Sahib had been here before? Mandalaya. They converted it to Mandalaya. Gurdwara and Anakwara. So, what happened at Hadwar, that place? So, the people at the, there were throwing water in one direction towards. Yeah to their ancestors and then Guru Sahib decided to turn around and said and start throwing water said he was throwing it towards his cave yeah. to his farm and then when the yogis there and all the people they're like how's the water from here gonna reach your farm mm. he's like well my farm is still on this planet mm. if it can't reach here how is your water gonna reach your ancestors that have left here exactly exactly thank you for that and uh, Guru Sahib sort of challenged that okay I'm gonna talk about that in a moment so then we arrived we arrived at Mecca and I saw a method of worship. Um, I asked my Guru Sahib about the method of worship that they had there. Um, Guru Sahib said, I've seen all different methods of worship, but none of these are pleasing to my Guru. I said, I didn't understand what they were doing. What was the big black box? What was that? What was going on in there? Does anyone know what's going, what, is, what it is? Uh, anyone know what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think this is the Hajj for Muslims. This is the Hajj, yes. So what is that big black box then? 50, roughly 15 meters by 10 meters, what is it? And what's inside it? Anyone know? Antwoord. Okay, good, thank you. So it says a black stone in there that they say is a meteorite that's come down from heaven. And uh, that's that come from the time of Adam and Eve. So it dates back to the time of Adam and, Adam and Eve. And they have that stone in that Kaaba. They say that Kaaba is the house of God. Yeah. Okay. So that's what they that's what they pray down to. They pray down to the house of God. And uh, my Guru Sahib said that they've been to Mecca before. Um, and when they went there, it was a sight to behold. Okay. So. In the John Theodasi, when Nandindi went to Mecca, they traveled from uh, the west of India here, they caught uh, a boat and they went there, it took them many, many weeks um, to arrive at Mecca. Does anyone know any historical references of this happening? Anyone know any historical references? Any, any kind of evidence, any things we've written about it, anywhere? Where, how do we know this, that this happened? Anyone? Because you may have heard it, you may have heard the story that Mecca turned oh. and Guru Nanak Dev Ji was there, yeah? So where have you, where is this hand? We have Vaya, I think, Pai Gudashi's Vaya. Okay, Pai Gudashi's Vaya, very good. Do you know any part of that Vaya? Yes? I remember. Okay, okay, okay. I'll find the tons of the Vaya. Okay, so I'm going to come to that in a moment. I just wanted to show you this first. Does anyone probably never seen this guy before? Mm -hmm. You don't, probably don't know who this person is. Anyone? <coughs> this guy, this guy's name is uh, Prithpal Singh. Originally his name was Mushtaq Hussain Shah. Okay, obviously he used to be a Muslim. He comes from a great lineage of, of Muslim, Muslims. His uh, his father was a renowned Persian scholar who trained as a Malvi at Medina University at Mecca. And when uh, Mushtaq Hussein Shah was at Mecca, he was also studying there. When he was there, uh, he came across a, a manuscript, a handwritten manuscript in the Medina Library. And it's called Sehayato Baba Nanak Shah Fakir. And it's by someone called Tadudin Naqshband. Okay. So, Sehayato means the travels of, it's in Arabic. Okay? The travels of Baba Nanak Shah Fakir. And it was written by a man called the Dajjal al Naqshbadi. Now, this guy, he was an Iranian guy, and he, this Dajjal al guy, and he followed Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and he wrote about Guru Nanak Dev Ji's travels. There's, uh, there's a kind of uh, extract of his book, you can read it on the internet, it's, it's fascinating. And, what happened, what he wrote was, 
that when he was traveling with Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he made a note of all the places where Guru Nanak Dev Ji went and all the, all the things that happened, all the amazing events that happened there. And his, his events that he, he witnessed, they matched by the last Ji's was uh, identically. Now, uh, what, what astonished me when I read this is that the t uh, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji went to Mecca, the top leaders of Islam embraced Guru Nanak Dev Ji's teachings there. Okay? There was a, the head Qazi who was a Abir Rukhan Odin. He met Guru Nanak Dev Ji and he was completely like, uh, amazed about how great Guru Nanak Dev Ji was. Um, they, and that Qazi and Naqshbandi, he writes that when Guru Nanak Dev Ji left there, they were all saying his mantra. They were all saying his mantra. Uh, in, 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 in uh, Mecca. And he actually describes what happened in the event when um, <coughs> Guru Nanak Dev Ji's uh, feet were facing the... the Guru Nanak Dev Ji, what he was, is that actually his feet were actually on the cover. They were actually on the, the, um, the, the black box. And uh, when that Maulvi saw him, uh, that Jeeva, they call him, that was his nickname, uh, when he kicked him, it talks about what happened. So, we just mentioned that. Um, I'll, I'll go to that bar in a second. But um, there's two other books that have been written here. You can, I'll, I'll give you the references, which also talk about this um, event taking place. They also reference that event taking place. Okay. So if anyone wants to know that, uh, the, the, the link for that book, I can give you that. So I've got that saved. It's, it's just a PDF one on the internet. Okay. Why grew? Why grew? Why grew? Why grew? Why grew? Uh, and this research was done by Professor Hadir Singh from Punjab University. It's a very, very reputable source. Okay, so the Bible of last year's bar that we're referring to is this one. Okay, I don't know if you can read this. Can you read that? I can read it. You can read it. Go on, let's read that. Uh, <coughs> Okay, just on that, okay, just on that. Okay. So Bible last year writes that Bhagavan Dindi was wearing blue clothes when he went there. Bhagavan Dindi went to Mecca, he's holding a like a walking stick in his hand. This is a John Field last Bhagavan Dindi who's a bit older than. Uh, he had a book underneath his armpit and he had a metal pot and a mattress. Uh, most of the Hajis used to do that. They used to have take their own rest and that kind of thing, to do it and all that kind of thing. So they, he sat in, in the mosque where the pilgrim, where the Hajis had gathered. And when Gurnai Bidji went to sleep at night, he's, and he put his legs towards Mecca. Hadji, uh, he would put his legs toward the mosque there, the Kaaba. Hadji, uh, you want to go next to it? A Jeevan Mari Latte Di Gera Sutta Kusbar Kupari Latta Val Kuda De Kyo Kai Paya Hai Kari Ango Pakar Kisikya Mukha Kanda Di Kari Hoi Hayan Kari Okay, thank you. So the Qazi that, that kicked Gurnan Devji is a Jeevan Mahi Lakati Gira Sultaso Kurukupari. Jeevan was the name of the, uh, the Qazi uh, there who kicked Gurnan Devji's leg. Um, and uh, well, he kicked Gurnan Devji, saying, Who's this Kumar with the, who's this infidel uh, with their legs on the Kaaba? And then after a while, it actually says that he moved Gurnan Devji's legs two or three times. In, in the book, it says that. Uh, Bhai Gurdashi doesn't make that reference, but when Gurdnayam Devji, when they moved his legs and his legs were still on the kappa, when the kappa turned, uh, that's when everyone bowed to Gurdnayam Devji, as, as what Bhai Gurdashi says. Um, so, <coughs> who saw these rituals happening in these different places? And I wanted to ask you a question. So, can I seek practices now? Uh, be considered as rituals too, or, or when they may become rituals, or and why are they not rituals? Because how about just to have a couple of minutes just to talk to your um, people in your row about that? 
So can our seed practices be considered as rituals too? A bit like the kind of rituals that were going on there. Okay. But can they or not? Just have, a, have a think about it. Or are they completely different? So what does it mean by rituals? Yeah. Yeah.
ਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਭ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੂੰ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੂੰ ਵੀ ਵਿਛਾਣੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੇ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸਲ ਸਵਾਲ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਫਲ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਬਸ Of the world, that man. 
he rules, he, he rules this world. And they thought, huh? how does that, how does that happen? How does he? Musa went further and says that if you do sandat with that man, that Baba, you you do sandat with him, you're going to uh, uh, cross over as well. You're going to be saved as well. And therefore, how does that happen? So Musa said, follow him. So they followed him and they went to this kind of broken down hut where he lived. There was a little broken down hut. And they went into the hut and they saw him there. Firstly, before they went in, they could hear some noise coming out of the hut. And then when they looked in, they saw him sitting there, Dongri Marge, in Na Pidjiasi Nam, which he was in Guru To Namlia, and he's sitting in this hut doing that Nam Dupra. Doing that Nam Dupra. And uh, his face is glowing. Just like many of the people's faces who go to Nandivji met, their faces were glowing. And uh, there's a shabd link to that. Does anyone know what a shabd is? I was going to kind of. Uh, but Guru Sahib says that that person is the king of the world because they've able, they've able to conquer all the uh, anything that the world can throw at them, and they're still bigji with Nam, still have that Nam residing inside them. Anyone know what that shabd is? Anji, the school. No, that's not the shop that I was thinking of. Think about all the other aspects of it. The broken down hut. The wood. No, no, no. Do you have a shit Okay, we're going to talk about that shop a bit, a little bit. Do you have a jar and a bath and a arlo? Do you have a jar and a bath and a arlo? Do you have a jar and a bath 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 and so that person, they live in a broken down hut. Okay. They're all clothes all ripped up. They haven't got no jar, no uchi jar, no uchi bath, no like good lining. Uh, they're wandering around, all kind of, you know, his little kids wandering around. They haven't got no friends, haven't got no family, relatives, you know, like that. But who's like the Raja Sagri Sishtika? They are the rulers of the world, they are focused on the world. Why? Because Harana Mahat Pinna. So even you can be in that kind of Ribi, world in Torte, but you can still be the king of the world, like the Usa said. Then the Kitur Man Udra, for a voice of Prasanna. Or the Kitur, like a Baki and other people, you know, Sangat Karke, Ogi Kurdu, the Bachan, they get saved as well. Okay, so I just wanted to ask this about about kind of bit about self sacrifice, about where you guys are, many of you are at the moment. How does our desire to progress in education and career impact us to keep positively and negatively? So I think you can think about. I don't think you need to have a discussion about this. So how can it, how can our sort of uh, worldly pursuits, uh, getting a good career, getting a good job, you know, all these other things? How can they impact us key negatively and positively? Anyone want to share? How do It depends on your priorities. So if you're trying to further your career a lot, and um, you'll definitely build uh, the people around you. You're going to seek out help. Uh, you're going to find job opportunities, things like that, to further your uh, education and career. But um, if you don't set aside time for Sikhi and you don't have a priority for that too, then uh, as you go up to your education, then you're going to go down to your sick keyboard. You could balance those out so you could further both at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that. Anyone else? So, how do you think that, um, how does that decide to progress in our education and career? Okay, let's, let's talk about it positively. Here. How can, I think your, your answer was more to do with how can you juggle it? How can you juggle your sick key when you're doing it good? But how can you, um, you progressing in your career and your education, how can that help your Sikhi? Or how can that help Sikhi? Anyway. Um, to progress in your education and career, you might have to create a discipline, and that might help you have discipline. Brilliant. Okay, excellent. So the discipline that you have to keep, that kind of uh, uh, focus that you have to keep within your uh, education or your job, that may help you with your discipline with your Sikhi as well. Okay, excellent. The transferable skill. And anyone else? I think depending on the career, you may doctor. Yeah. 
ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਧੀਆ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬਣ ਗਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਹਿਊਮੈਨਿਟੀ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਕੋਰ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲ ਸੋਫਟ ਸਕਿੱਲ ਕੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰ so is that opportunity this is what I'm trying to get at this is I'm worried that you many didn't come up with this you as you're progressing in your life you get older you get jobs you are always do for job sikhi i always say do to see the stars ja do to see kara apne haath pe la people kara on then you become the ambassadors of the guru okay jitne bhi tusi jaoge log ki kare ek guru das ek guru nanak das sikhya ek guru gobind singh das sikhya and and what actions you do that reflects on your sikhi and that reflects on your guru okay so person who's working in hospital like I said hospital education when you think about the jobs that you guys are going to go to you guys are going to be responsible okay you're going to be responsible for how the world sees sikhi you're going to be responsible for how the world sees the guru and this is one of the main reasons why I come to these camps because you guys are many of you guys are young or some of you may be a bit older but look if I know they can talk they will talk guru this is not either they need to see guru in you ਜੇ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਵੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਫੋਨ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਕਹੋਗੇ ਦੇ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਡ੍ਰਿੰਕ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਪ ਉਹ ਸੀ ਗਟ ਰੋਂਗ ਪਲੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਦੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਅੱਛਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਉਹ ਦਾ ਪੇਦਾ ਵੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਸੀ ਆ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਵਨ ਕਿਕ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਸ ਵੀ ਵਟ ਟੂ ਸਮਰ ਆਵਰ ਸਮ ਮਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਪੇਲਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਸਿੰਗ ਦੈ ਆਊਟ ਆਊਟ ਅ ਸਿੰਗ and he told me this one of the stories about how he came to sikhi and it was that blew me away he said that man of monasi was a kind of hacker the one who sikhi da bahut shauq si meri jehde friend si mere rishtedar oh kaafi jada khan peen wale si and they kadi kadi babu ya de hunde si jehde jada tha and he said that man is such man thodi jehde sikhi na thodi jehde interest si so man man oh that was more than the if because man the star to this kadi kadi star hunda si and if him kisi man nu khanda ditta one has a game ye khanda ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਖੰਡਾ ਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਉਹ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਕਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਦੀ ਕੇ ਦੀਂਦਰ ਉਹ ਜਿਦਾ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਵੈਸੇ ਮੈਂ ਮੁੰਨਾ ਸੀ ਬਾਬ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਇਕ ਸਟਾਰ ਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਦੀ ਖੰਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਜਸ ਫੋਕ ਲੈ ਆ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਵਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਸਪੋਰਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਚੁੱਪ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਪਾਪ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਉਦੋਂ ਹਨਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਟਾਰ ਸਟਾਰ ਸੀ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਖੰਡਾ ਲਾ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠਾ ਇਸ ਐ he said mai uthe baitha mai so mai the shop bhi nahi mai the orange juice bhi nahi lunga so we sit in the drink, uh, drinking orange juice and this is what he says to me is that ek mona bhi jo the si mona manu aake ronda is a mona's pride mona manu aake ronda mona kehta tu ki karda and he said mai to bas orange juice pita orange juice pita ka to tu kithe baitha why is why you say it you know why you say it because then I could write that and then that day he changed oh we got up and he ran outside ran out the pub we don't put that like yeah we yeah that is the thing guru sahab is not like that there guru sahab this is how guru sahab practices as he can as he as he that the rakh there na as he can as he the car up we put our cars on na a sad a sad a sad rakh kya kar de these the cars protect us that the star the reason how that the star is that the star that protected him or but then this we you know Maharaj comes to us in all different ways so I found that fascinating that how Guru Sahib and that Lajra uh, today and now he's a very 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 good Guru Sahib very good because that, that's when he really woke up and realized what he was doing um, so this is another way sort of how to come again that see Guru Sahib the ambassador yeah do we as he can look at there we have to recognize that Sikhi Luja Asal Pandir that Um uh, okay so how can our education our career affect sikhi negatively then negatively so we say positively we're talking about different jobs and people see us in a positive way and they say that oh child this is good that's it yeah it's really nice very good i want to be like them i just want that story on with jasti singhania she's a primary school teacher of the bachche in the class of she is at the age of 6 7 years old as uh, year 2 in in the, in the primary school Uh, when she went to the class, none of the kids were the star. None of the kids. These are the six, seven-year-olds. But just seeing her, oh, that's about her. Oh, that's about her. Oh, that's about her. How caring and how great she is. After the one year, seven kids, seven kids in that school uh, were the star. And I'm talking about girls. Girls, okay. Maybe six, I think six of the seven were girls. And the seven of the seven were the boys. Oh, can you remember the photo? 
ਭੇਜਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਉਹ ਅਕਸਰ ਨਾ ਅਕਸਰ ਹੋਣਾ ਤੱਕ ਬੋਲ ਦੇ ਦੋ ਤਾਰਾ ਰੱਖੀ ਦੇ ਪੈਰਸ ਉਹ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਇੱਕ ਨੂੰ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਦਸਤਾਰਾ ਪੈਰਸ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਬੈਗ ਚ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਬੰਦੇ ਜਿਸ ਠੇਕ ਸਕੂ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਲਾਸਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਬੰਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਉਸ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਨੋ ਮੋਰ ਸਕੂਲ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਮੋਰ ਸਕੂਲ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਂਡ ਉਥੇ ਅਮ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਵੀ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਵੀ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਫਰਮ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਵਰ ਟਾਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਦਾ ਸਮੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਰਦਾਰ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਖੈਰ ਥੋੜਾ ਦੇ ਗੁਣ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਸੋਚੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੀ ਸੋਚੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਵਰ ਦਾ ਵਰ ਦਾ ਤੋਂਦਾ ਆ ਵਰ ਬੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਰ ਓਕੇ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਆ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰ ਨੀਡਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਲਸ ਆਲਸ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਗਾਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪਲੇ ਅਮ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੈਲ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਫੋਰ ਅਟ ਹਰ ਆਲਸ and he said one thing he said to me is that this christian is like mere parwa sa christian hai ta mainu bahut jada zabardasti mere christian bhai vaste hai your proper life always all about christian the type force me to uh, for a christian thing cuz i hate it cuz i'm an atheist so i don't have no interest in religion and then um man look ya i go if the thing is priceless dig what you uh uh if it's a priceless steel uh, koi kimat nahi koi priceless ya a mohlak ki diya fe thanu use par char kan di vetan di lod nahi bas loki thanu pad pad ke aake pad pe sab kuch sab people would run to you to get that thing because they really what do you think of them go they come to the camp say oh inne jude hunde a oh ta duro duro aunde duro duro aunde bas ohna nu pata kitte kitte kitna ta jaana milda they know they come here and they see that they see that uh that wonderful gift that they're going to get here apre chalo say um make some of them i was maybe like that but majority of us that's wrong with that friend i told us yeah i can see we are that they but you know they eh kimat pata lag gaya ve eh da amol nirmol cheez ya they oh ta pat pat ke ithe hunde and this is the key thing that we really we need to really try to get out this camp as well So um um how can so I was trying to get out in terms of if we get so absorbed in our education and so absorbed in our career then fake you hunda sikinu ki hunda look again there oh chalo koi to nitne nahi hunda ho aa karna pehna aa karna parone aage aa ho gayi aa nahi hoya aa nahi hoya chalo you know idda hi galla hundi aa and and they'll come up with excuse after excuse after excuse this okay kate sikhi kate gay oh i'm 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 still my um i know jitna hon bachche na of tan when they do with exams they go to wale nahi hote to wale jitna hon pehlo raj revision ko karte hain they are they doing that but then just before the exam they come and do um what that take ask for blessings that kind of thing but there's some of them jinne koi interest nahi hai koi interest nahi so i just trying to think about uh try to get you to think about how the kinsiki kind of how can our uh our striving for education and career all that kind of thing how can that impact our siki negatively okay so just let's uh come to the last bit now so self sacrifice is very important on that that was the fourth check the last check for that um so i realized <coughs> so i realized that um you need to have self sacrifice whether it be waking up early uh, whether uh, you need to be thinking about who you're hanging around with getting some of the uh, if you're going to do something with bad people and that kind of thing when we say we're talking about some of the his talk um just i'll give you a quick example about self sacrifice and then one last story and then finish um do you um uh, when, i remember when there's a 2012 olympics in london a uh, 2012 olympic right to otake gori si uh Jessica in this you probably never heard of her she was a um she used to do her tackling uh oh gori kandi for the last four years man i've done 10000 hours of of uh, practice 10000 hours of practice with the british with jazz sal for for ready for olympics 10000 hours if you work that in out in out hours per day it's about 7 hours per day 7 days a week they cook can the dedication honi ya how much dedication must you have she training 7 hours a day 7 days a week for this and think how oh, you know you know if you want to be successful at something you have to have a the discipline you have to have discipline on jere kitna de athlete hai ge um athletics ka de ab gaya olympic olympic wale ohna ne they're going to have to sleep on time 
they're going to have to eat certain things. You know, footballers as well, they have to eat certain things. They have to um, uh, spend so much time doing their training, so much time doing their, not just physical training, they have a mental training, they have all these different people around them to help them, support them to be successful. Okay? And this is the sandha that you have here, hopefully, the sandha that's going to pick you up and push you towards that goal that you want to achieve. Okay, so, Guru Sahib said to me that you try to meditate with your eyes closed, but deep down, are you really meditating? You might have a lot of discipline, maybe you're bothered, but do you really, um, uh, have you really given up your bad actions? So that's the key, that's the key thing. And um, uh, so Guru Sahib showed me this path here, the path of love, these four things, the devotion, the blessings, the self-sacrifice and the longing for the one. These four things are uh, based on Gurbani, so these four things, Guru Sahib and they are Irinal Prem Upajanti, Andhraal if you have this devotion, blessing, self-sacrifice, and longing for the one. Okay, so just quickly, um, I'm just going to go to the end now because we, because we kind of finished uh, this thing of time. Just three things. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you this story about this BB, the, um, and it's kind of about these three things. Honestly, can they? Did you see? Um, we need to have devotion, blessings. That's why when at the end of the movement, the Guru Sahib said, Guru Prasad, Guru Prasad, Sahib Prasad, Guru Prasad. You see, you have to have that Guru Prasad, Guru Di Nadar, self sacrifice, and you have to have that yearning. So, I'll tell you this story about this, um, this Mataji. And um, so I went to her house. And she told me about her husband's life. He had a really, really successful business. But he used to also donate to the Panth a lot. He used to give a lot of money to the Panth. Um, they used to um, run eye camps in India, which eye camp they um, uh, They used to um, give money to provide and just support them. Little education, birthday, all that kind of thing. Um, uh, they used to love the sun. They used to come. To, some used to come to the house. The house the door was always open to see what they were doing. They had a one to three every day. And they, they've been doing this for 50 years. 50 years they've been doing this. And uh, they had Maharaj Prakash at home. And they said, We had Maharaj at home. And I just want to tell you this story a little bit about Jilaprem Gyodhan Hivrabhara. So she's telling us this story. And I say, Why, Guru? It's the last thing and then I'll finish, then you can like, all kind of not worry about me, not see my face again. I was like, why Guru? Why Guru? So they're in India, and uh, they're in India. And uh, um, the, the Baba, her husband, uh, he's walking towards the van. They went to the van to the airport. Walking to the van, and he stopped. And he, he couldn't put, have any weight on his legs. And uh, so the, the, his wife called the van driver, the taxi, I like to call him because that, you know, you know, you help that. So he picked him up and he took him inside the house. And the uh, Baba said to him that, you know, I think I can go now. I think uh, I can go. Uh. So they took Baba back into the, the, into the taxi ready to go. And, uh, and the, the Mata, he said, that um, uh, is he going to be born here? And he goes, and me. He said that. He said that. He said that. Mara said that I've got 15 minutes. And, uh, and then, then, then you have to go. But Vipi kind of, um, uh, she started kind of crying. He said that, don't cry. He said, don't cry. 
ਭਾਗਾ ਵਾਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਸਭ ਵਾਰਮਾ ਉਦੋਂ ਕਰੋ ਜੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਸੋ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਹੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਖਾਣੇ ਥੋਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਥਲੇ ਗਵੇ ਓਕੇ ਇਦਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਮਰ ਵੇਲਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਤੇ ਦਾ ਪੱਕਾ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਆ ਜਿਸ ਕੀ ਸਟੇ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਇਨ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਦਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਖਣਾ ਖੰਮ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸਿਸ ਖਣਾ ਖੰਮ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਲੇ ਯੂ ਕਾਨ ਕਮ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਹੈ ਇਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਮਾਰੇ ਆਪੀ ਆਉਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਦਿਸ ਮਾਲ ਜਿਸ ਕਾ ਵੀ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਚਿਦਾ ਨਾਲ ਅਮ ਅਲੋ ਆਫ ਸਮ ਵਿਦ ਅਲੋ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਸਿਕਸ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਫਰ ਕਮ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਫਰ ਲਾਸਟ 50 ਇਅਰਸ ਇਟ ਕਮ ਇਟ ਸਿਕੀ ਆ ਵਨ ਕਲੋਕ ਐਂਡ ਅਮ ਦੈਨ ਟੂ ਮਿਨਟਸ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਦਿਸ ਟੂ ਮਿਨਟਸ ਲੈਫਟ ਐਂਡ ਫੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਜਾਪ ਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਵਾਈ ਗੋ ਵਾਈ ਗੋ ਵਾਈ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਲੈਟ ਇਟ ਚਾ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਫ ਅਟ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਲੈਫਟ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਡੇ ਆਰ ਲਰਨ ਫਰਮ ਦੈਟ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਅ ਲਵ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਆਫ ਅ ਆਫ ਅ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖ how much they love the sangat how much they serve the sangat how much they so god in all doesn't matter kere jithe bandi hai jithe bhi si they that matter you she says to me that you know i that my the main difference i've seen jithe hum jithe vich hai je hum sangta vich hai main difference dekha jadon assi hum pehlo aunde si jithe rehn sabaya ki karte je utthe smagma te jande hunde si utthe sare sangat ek do na fate bande si jo bhi ho this is my what your background is there my act of sare reduced to the block for the because aaj kal tak koi ha ha ji my early friend of friend hai ek do ha for the bolonde hai because the other time na that time uh she was a othe jo joriyan di seva te lena lagdi lagdi hundi si there used to be joriyan di slides of the people doing joriyan seva now it's lines for people who want to use the mic or come and sit on the stage or want to do the kirtan seva or tabla seva you know so that's kind of changes that she's seen um uh, she said that going on the door but no so repeating the uh, now feeling the now experiencing the now and loving the now oh now to bina oh oh can this me jee nahi sakdi ya ta guru to bina me jee nahi sakdi so um ultimately i learned from her doing her sangat the power of that jit prem ki ho tan bhi prab pai and uh, it was a real eye opening experience why the in the kirpa ki te ne itna de gusse ka de darshan ho itna gusse ka de this sangat ho and i got to learn this kind of stories okay so just to finish off with that so i gave you a little challenge uh if you're still awake so which body was i talking about uh that it took side as i was listening to my hand you made a uh, job site what makes you think it was job site uh, i don't recognize one of the lines of the one okay i know i know ah uh, had that process to me oh how do you know that i because i get tackled a lot and i get to see us and talk to us oh very good well done it was not for us to be okay so like for example when i was talking about that worry and that we are part of the very very side ki ta bitte ya ਬੋਤ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਮਿਲਨ ਦੇ ਮੌਸਮ ਮਾ ਤੇ ਗਿਆਨ ਕੇ ਮਾਰ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਇਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਹੋਸਟ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਿਸ ਸੈਲਸ ਦੈਟ ਵਰ ਆਸ਼ਰ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿਦ ਦੋ ਯੈਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਯੈਸ ਆ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਦਾ ਰੋਲ ਵਿਦ ਆਮ ਜਿਨ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਕਿਉਂ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਪਾ ਦਾ ਗੁਰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਹ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸ਼ਬਦਸ ਵਰ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਡਨ ਇਟ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਆ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਫੋਰ ਬਾਡੀ ਫਰਮ ਫਰ ਦਿਸ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਦਾ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਟ right from the house anyone make me so gurnan dev ji when he, when i asked gurnan dev ji i met uh, and um, they said i don't like to hang around with the f- famous people and all that kind of thing and uh, i just like to hang uh, anyone i like to hang around with the lowest of the low because there's lots of blessings there anyone hang ਆਇਆ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮਨ ਮੈਂ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਸੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਪਾਸੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਛੋਟੇ ਨੀਵਿਆਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੀ ਨੀਤੀ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਕਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਨੀਤੀ ਹਾਂ ਨੀਤੀ ਹੋਣ ਅਤ ਨੀਚ ਨਾਨਕ ਤਨ ਕੇ ਸੰਗ ਸਾਥ ਵੱਡਿਆਂ ਸੋ ਕਿਆ ਜੀ ਵੱਡਿ
uh, kind of, um, sometimes they used to sleep on the kind of ground and the stones and they used to eat like really, really bitter things sometimes when they push the bani. What was that? By the Dachi Zwar. Okay, uh, okay, we done the Baba and Bakangya, we done the Rasta Kuti property. Okay, and uh, so who were the fast people, the very, very fast people walking on this path? This is the last one. Very, very fast people. Go on, see. Did it, but it, oh, they understood this path and they walked very, very fast down this path. Very, very fast. The two words I do. Yes. Good. <laughs> Sancha Mananja Khep Lechalo Gurmukhar Gagi Ranishan So that was the line, I don't know how many of you may not have heard that line before Sancha Mananja Khep Lechale, I think it's actually Gurmukhar Gagi Ranishan So the Gurmukhs, they know that They recognize the path of Vaidu That all Bashiti will come Sakadeh But I think it's one thing I wanted to realize just before we end is that did it go sick or such a baranja or such a lake, nam bari lake or such a, they, they trade, they get the profit of the such a, and they go really fast, yeah? But back here, what happened? They were all stationary, they stopped. Okay, okay, one person was stopped in, uh, after it, my average person, yeah, with the fancy, one person was stopped in this, one person was stopped in rituals. Eh, Rajota Musa over there, if you know about my they were all stopped in their own things. So Maya and all stop holding. But Dilip was sexy or the Gurmukh Gadi Ranishani. So uh, hopefully you found that a bit useful. Um, uh, I'm used to, uh, there's quite a lot of different age ranges here. So it's very difficult to know how to pitch it. Carl's in the UK is a little bit different where we have kind of a, usually a bit more of a set age range. So um, it's very difficult. So hopefully you all gain something from it and you just didn't add to your sleeping. Um, uh, hopefully you found that useful. So if I offended anyone, uh, and that wasn't my intention. Why did you go?